Hey people, welcome back. And in this session, we are going to learn about the yield calculation. So yield is the output of the process. Basically, we calculate three type of yields in any process. First, we call it as a first pass yield. FPY stand for first pass yield. Then we calculate RTY stand for rolled throughput yield and the third one is the cy which stand for the classical yield first pass yield as the name says the right first time you are getting from the process without any rework without any defect without any scrap in case your process goes through the multiple stages and you are getting the right first time of all the stages is called your roll throughput yield. This is basically product of all your first pass yield. And in case somewhere there is a rejection and you are doing the rework on that and then finally converting into the right product all the workable product. So that is called your classical yield which include rework. Let's take an example. Suppose for any process when you start, you have an input of around let's say 500 transactions you are supposed to do. Out of this 500 transaction, let's say this is a stage one of the process or a stage one of the processing of the transaction. And on the stage one out of 500, maybe you have some rejection. Around let's say, I will just say 23 rejection. So output you got here, initially input was 500 minus rejection is 23. So you got 477. So the first pass yield of this process will be 477 divided by the input 500, which is around 95.4% is your first pass yield. Now, when you will go to the second stage of the process, and the second stage, this output for the stage one will become the input for the stage number two. So input will be here 477. And suppose another rejection is there, maybe at the stage two, any random number, let's say 30 rejection. So the output for the stage number two, you got 477 minus 30, which is 447. So the first pass yield for the stage number two will be 447 divide by 477 which is 93.71 percent now this 447 will go to the suppose stage number three so 477 will become the input here 447 and you have another rejection let's say 15 rejection is there at the stage three so output will be 447 minus 15 which is 432 so the first pass yield for the stage number 3 will be 432 divided by 447 which is 96.6%. Now let's say you have another stage and you are moving the data to the stage number 4. So the input here will be 432. Rejection assuming another let's say 21 rejection. So output will be 432 minus 21 411. So the first pass yield for the stage number 4 will be 411 divided by 432, which is 95.1%. So now when you calculate the roll throughput yield or RTY, RTY will be product of all of your first pass yield across the stages. So if you multiply all these numbers, you will get the RTY, which is around 82.2%, which is the right first time across all the stages. This is the way we calculate the RTY. This will be as good as if you take the final output 411 divided by the initial input which is 500. So that you will get the same number around 82.2%. Now, this is my roll throughput yield. I have calculated the first pass yield. Let's see how much is my total rejection. If my total rejection if I take the sum of the rejection, so that value will be sum of all the stages rejection what I have got. 
so my rejection value is 89 <coughs> so rejection percentage is how much 89 out of total 500 you have done so this is my rejection which is around 17.8 percent if you take the sum of rejection percentage plus roll through put yield which is 82.2 plus 17.8 it will make to the 100 percent now Assuming out of this rejection, you have done some rework. Suppose number of rework you have, let's say around 72. So my rework percentage will be how much? 72 of the pieces you have reworked out of 500 total. This is the rework cost. So that will be around 14.4%. Now, if the rework you could do only 72, so rest of the number will be scrapped. So the scrap out of this process will be total your rejection was 89 and you could do 72 as a rework. So difference will be your scrap 17. So the scrap percentage will be 17 out of total 500 initial input. So which is around 3.4% was your scrap which is the cost of poor quality. Now, you was initial output, the final output, you got 411 and you was able to rework 72. So, the classical output of the process or final output will be initial output, which is 411 <coughs> plus rework 72. So, total output you got 483 and the classical yield will be 483 divided by initial 500, which is this percentage, 96.6 percentage. This is the way we calculate the yield. So you have the first pass yield, which is the right first time. If we are calculating stage wise and we multiply all the right first time, that will become your roll throughput yield. Now, total rejection you take, sum out of the total input, that will become your rejection percentage. Out of this rejection, whatever the rework you have done, Suppose 72, so 72 is the rework out of 500, then it is 14%. And the rejection minus rework will be your scrap, <coughs> which is around 3.4%. So this rework your 72 plus initial output was the final output 411, which is right first time. 411 plus 72, that will become 483. And 483 out of 500 will become your classical yield. Thank you so much, people. I'll see you in the next session.